Hey everybody, I wanted to show you how to set this thing up uh, in SPSS to work this problem. So the first best thing to do is to come up here and right click this link right here and do save link as and then pick a spot somewhere on your computer that you want to save it. Uh, I'm going to just dump it in my downloads folder. Alright, so we'll come into SPSS and we'll click open and we'll go to the location where we saved it. And then as you get to this step here, what you'll want to do is You'll just click next, 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 and make sure comma is ticked here. It should be by default. Uh, and then next and next, and then just finish. And it will dump the data into SPSS. You can close this output window. And so there's our data. And you see what happens here is it's listed it in three columns. Now, if you recall from the way you did this in lab, you actually need to have all this data in a single column. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of this data and you see, as we scroll down, there are 98 entries for each country. So I'm going to take that data there, and I'm going to cut and copy it down to there, cut and paste it. And then I'm going to grab this data here, and I'm going to highlight all of it and do the same thing. I'm going to cut it and put it down at the bottom of the country 2 list. All right, so notice country 2 goes down to line 196. All right, so what we're going to do now is... Uh, just because it drives me crazy here, um, this is not country 2 in this column anymore. This is going to be, in fact, none of these were country. I'm going to delete this uh, one here. So just I'm going to right click over here on the 3, say clear. I'm going to rename this to be country. And then this data is actually height data. So I'm going to change that to height just to be really clear so I don't get confused later on. And now you see it's changed that to height and country. So this is country 1. So you can type that 98 times or you can type it once. Hit Control C, go down to row 98, and then hit Control B. And then likewise for this, type 2 there, and then hit Control C, and then scroll all the way down to 196, right? Because it's uh, another uh, 98 data points. Control B, and then likewise, we'll type Country 3 here, and we'll do Control C, and we'll scroll all the way down to the end and say Control V. So now we have two columns. Height data in the left and country in the right column. And now we do our uh, one-way ANOVA. We do compare means, one-way ANOVA. And now your dependent list is height and your factor is country. And of course you'll turn on your options here for descriptive statistics as we do. And you will click OK. And it should give you your output. And again, your F will be likely different. But now you can go back into your... Uh, homework here and um, enter the following information and give the value of the test statistic. Now, um, if you'd like to stop there and do your work, that's great. I'm going to show you the super secret Excel way of doing this problem. All right, so let me get Excel pulled up. All right, so once you have Excel pulled up, what you'll do is you click File. The first thing you have to do is turn on a special feature that does statistics. If you scroll down to the very bottom, you can do Options here, and you'll go to Add-ins, and you click on Add-ins. And the thing you have to turn on is down here in this inactive ones will be a one called Analysis Toolback. I've already turned it on. Um, so we'll click Manage Excel Add-ins, and what you do is you click Analysis Toolpack and click OK. This will open up a, a pretty strong set of statistical tools you can use. But that must be turned on every time you get into, well, once you get into Excel one time on your computer, you're okay. But if you do it on any other computer, you have to set that back up. Now, what this does is it opens a menu in the data area at the very end called data analysis. All right, so hopefully after you've done all that, you should see the data analysis. Now, I'm going to open my data set. So let me go uh, do file open, and I'm going to go browse and get that file. And this is going to do similar to SPSS and the way it imports it. So you'll click Next. We are delimited. The data is delimited by, and now this time it, it's a comma. I did have to click comma. You can uncheck tab if you like. And click Next. You can just say Finish. And now it will import this data in three columns. I can just go back to Data, Data Analysis. And this is where you get all these extra tools um, of things that are out here. You can do a two sample mean test. You can do uh, matched pairs. There are other things you can do here in Excel. So you can do a NOVA single factor and you click that and your input range is all of this data right here. 
and we're going to highlight that and we can leave it in the three columns here and then click that icon and it says so my input is there my it is grouped by columns and I'll just go ahead and say give me a new worksheet with all this information on it and I click OK and at this point you see I get the exact same F value that I just got of 266 I get a P value um, I get various information here the same information that I was getting from SPSS so I uh, hope this helps and um, let me know if you have any further questions.